Faye Jones is with me now. She has rheumatoid arthritis and says cannabis helps her cope with the pain. And also, I'm joined by Professor Val Curran from the University College London. Good evening to you both. Evening. Faye, does that storyline ring true? A little bit, yes. The, the meeting the, the dealer in the pub to, to purchase some illicit medicine certainly does ring a little bit true, yes. How did you decide that you wanted to take cannabis to ease your rheumatoid arthritis and its symptoms? Um, I was taking some very strong pharmaceuticals and they were making me very sick, um, make, meaning that I, I was losing my career, um, it was derailing everything in my life. So I looked for a solution, first of all, to the nausea um, to go with the pharmaceuticals that I was taking. And I discovered that cannabis was actually a very um, effective anti-emetic um, and was much better than anything the doctors could prescribe for me at that time. Um, as I looked into it a little bit more, I realised that it was actually also uh, very useful as a an immune suppressant, a painkiller, um, and also an anti-inflammatory. And what I realised is that I could replace all of these damaging, harmful drugs, drugs that were making me very ill. I won't ask you how you get it or who you get it from. How do you take it, though? Um, there are a number of ways that it can be consumed. Um, I vaporise it, which is uh, a lot less harmful than the, the traditional smoking of cannabis. Which you have tried. Which I have tried, okay. yes. Yeah. Um, I also make a uh, topical from it, um, so it can be applied to the, directly to the area that it, where I'm feeling pain. Um, and that is actually not psychoactive at all, doesn't produce the high that people would expect. So you don't get stoned effects. by putting yeah. it on your skin, but you still feel the positive effect on your yes. condition. Val, pharmaceutical companies are also getting in on the act here. And in the issue of full disclosure, I should declare a minor financial interest in this area. Is enough being done, though, to study the effects of cannabis on people like Faye with rheumatoid arthritis or any other condition? MS, for example, is another area they think can be helped. Um, the, the problem for research and for looking at medical use is that cannabis in the UK has been Schedule 1 which means that it has no recognised medical use. And as long as it stays in that schedule, it's very hard for researchers to actually do the clinical trials to see what it works for and, and where it works best and for whom. Because in the eyes of the law in the UK at the moment, it doesn't really matter why people are using it. So people like Faye are going to be lumped in with people who are using it recreationally. Exactly. And people using recreationally want to get stoned. People like Faye want relief of their pain or their muscle spasm or, or other kinds of indications. And it's not the same thing. Two completely separate mm. issues. So what I'm trying to argue for now is that we reschedule it in, under the Act so that doctors can prescribe it and we import cannabis with known ingredients from the medical suppliers in Holland. Many states in the US now allow that. Australia is soon expected to legalise the cultivation of cannabis for medicinal use. But the Home Office has told us that there are no plans to decriminalise it here. The evidence shows it is a harmful drug which can damage people's mental and physical health. How does that make you, make you feel, Faye? I would say that the most harmful effect for cannabis for me has been its illegal status. It's isolating, it's put my career at risk, and it means that I have to spend an awful lot of my own money on making myself well. Is it expensive? It's very expensive. Yeah. I, I work full time, I have quite a successful career and I still put most of my expendable income into it. And the, the final question is, how have you broached that topic with your friends, your family, your employer? I'm very open with all of them. I, would, I wouldn't be sat here tonight no, if my employer <laughs> didn't know um, exactly what I was up to. Um, and I find when I broach the topic with most people, they understand. And they, they, they recognise that there's a difference between recreational cannabis and getting high and being a person who's unwell and needs to use it for pain relief.